it is almost eight o'clock in the morning shift starts at half eight so i've got enough time to get there i think the one thing i'm going to miss about toys r us is i could walk there in five minutes at this new job i've got to walk there in 35 minutes that's a whole half an hour less in bed in the morning i'm not sure that's something i'm willing to give up so we'll have to see how good this job really is I gave myself 15 minutes longer than I would need to get to work because I knew it would be icy. But I did not know it would be this icy. The thing is I'm walking on flagstones and they're completely, completely smooth. And they are covered in black ice. If I can walk on the grass like this, absolutely fine. But those flagstones, ooh, that's going to be a fun journey. Some people are sat in traffic and my walk to work takes me through a frozen winter wonderland with frosty grass and a bubbling river over there with bunny rabbits running all over the job itself is going to keep me fit and the walk to work keeps me healthy I've always been lucky with the commutes that I've had I've always been able to walk to wherever I work Probably because I don't drive, so I have to walk to wherever I work. But there's something lovely. There's birds swooping down everywhere. There's something lovely about just being able to walk to work. Lunch break at work after day one. It's busy as hell. Loads of people coming in. It's weird, you'll get waves of people. So if someone's session starts at two o'clock, we tell them to get there you know, half an hour, 20 minutes before. So you'll have 150 people waiting and then you'll get them all processed and all through and all in and then you'll do nothing for like half an hour. You'll just have to clean, tidy, process and wait for the next hundred people to come in for the next hour. So it's very, very waves of work. Right now I'm just on break. Uh, the pizza that they cook is fantastic. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's going quickly because the way I think is I've only got to deal with seven, eight waves of people every day. And that's if I'm not party hosting. If I'm party hosting, I'll be on the courts with them bouncing around. If I'm not party hosting, I'll be on reception. Which is a great incentive for me to push parties. Because I definitely want to be on the courts instead. First shift is over. Um, been busy, been on reception. Finally done after eight hours. And all I'm going to do now is go on the park. <laughs> Can you film in the dark? Yes. Should you film in the dark? Probably not. It's very dark here because it's night time. Uh, we got back, a couple of the guys came around to mine. Afterwards we uh, ordered some pizza, got some drinks in, uh, watched some Green Wing. It was good fun. Morgan's decided to uh, to crash because, yeah, it's, it's late and it's easy for him to crash here. One of my favourite guys, very, very talkative. Morgan, I'm going give, to give you an example, okay? How did you feel the first day went? Um, you thinking of the team, you like them? What's your opinion on Brexit? Um, so let's let's talk about uh, talk about dreams, hopes, ambitions, the future. I value our chats. Good times. <laughs>